To make this spur gear, we're actually going to use our spur gear generator, which you can find if you open up an assembly file. You have to go into design mode, and here you see spur gear. And it's going to ask us to name the part first, so we're just going to call this spur gear. Same thing as, well, I guess it's just labeled gear over here, so we can change that. And now we have to put in all the information. Uh, it says as a 12 pitch, and pitch here is also 12. 12 teeth, number of teeth is 12. And 1 inch pitch diameter it says 1 inch, so we should be okay there. Uh, we have a face width of a half inch, and this says a half inch. Really, the only thing we're going to change is that we're not going to model gear 2 and here it says no model so make sure that's checked and select OK it'll give you a bunch of you know calculation indicates design failure scary things look like they're happening click accept and there's your spur gear now we can make now if you double click on it uh, we should be able to make some sketches on here create a 2D sketch and now we can start to draw this stuff out so let's zoom in let's make a circle in the middle and it has a uh, diameter of 0.257 get that from over here and there's a little rectangle that's right at the top of it Oop, looks like my circle went away There it is. Let's try this one more time. Here's rectangle. Just going to kind of put that in place and then use my vertical constraint to find the midpoint of the rectangle and the origin. Uh, let's get a dimension on here for how wide this is. Looks like it is 0 0.064. And the distance from the bottom of the circle to the top of the rectangle. here is 0.292 okay now we can trim out the stuff we don't need extrude cut that out change your distance to all select OK and now you have your spur gear